what is going on guys really excited to bring you guys this video it's going to be a quick little video kind of like a little announcement a little heads up thing if you're a gun guy and you're a collector or you just like cool stuff and especially if you're into like the world war one world war two all the old school stuff u.s military history perhaps you're a 1911 guy this is super cool by winchester it's the ww2 victory series from what i understand they are going to do a couple different calibers 45 acp like we have before you uh 30 out six 30 carbine maybe a couple others and they're going to be limited production limited runs they they say at least so they say that they're only going to make you know the ammo for a month or i believe is what it is or so many boxes or as much as they can within a certain time period and then that's it never happening again now who knows maybe down the road winchester needs some money and they re-release some stuff for all the people that didn't get their hands on it the first time or maybe they do something a little bit different or whatever but supposedly this is only going to be able to be bought right now so i'm tossing this video up real quick i believe it's just only this month maybe into the next month um and then i don't know when the other calibers are going to be released i have to look that up but 45 right now has been released and you guys know me how i love the 1911 i think it's the greatest handgun ever devised it's my favorite they shoot they're just so perfect let me stop but the military history alone with the 1911 i mean is incredible it's still being used today it's in some capacity and you know a lot of people own them a lot of people carry them a lot of people collect them a lot of people shoot them a lot of people compete with them but the historical value behind the 1911 and all the things that it's done and the places that it's been is really, really cool. And part of the 1911 is the ammo that goes to it. The big old 45. They all fall to the hardball. And this commemorative box is really cool. I got a couple of them because, like I said, you never know when they're going to, you know, if you'll be able to get any more. You know, you don't know if it'll ever increase in value. Plus, the main thing it's just cool to have i'm not going to shoot this ammo i'm going to keep it as is and it's just going to sit on top of my safe or in some kind of little display or something it's just super cool so let's dive into it let's show you the box what's inside the box this that and the other so as you can see beautiful uh little wood box here you know winchester world war ii victory series 45 auto 230 grain ball you got that gorgeous bald eagle there some red white and blue take a look at this side this is super cool a uh, little art scheme there 15 billion rounds of ammunition were manufactured by winchester and delivered to american troops during the war and then you got a american soldier with the good old colt 1911 that's sweet i like that it's color filled you know it's it's just cool to have you got little facts on there on this side Limited edition, you know, 50 cartridges, 45 auto, M1911, 230 grain. Then over here, we've got a beautiful M1911A1 pistol, and it shows the round. What's cool is the rounds are actually made how they were back then. Um, minus, they're not hard cast lead, they're jacketed, but they do have the crimp and all that stuff. Um, you know, and that's exactly how the cases were stamped, you know, 45 auto, M1911. Let's flip it around here. You uh, slide this over, and it exposes the goods. That cool little little picture right there. Kind of like old school, paying homage to the older boxes that were just brown, plain cardboard, stamped like that. You see lot number 1941 and 1945. Winchester, 45 caliber ball. Show you the box here. You know, more... More of the same little verbiage and all that. Let's see if I can open this without damaging anything. And I don't know if you can... Yeah, you can see it. You know, that's how they're stamped. M1911. And then if you pull one out... For one, it's really good looking ammunition. But it's got the crimp in the middle like the old um, ball rounds used to for the military. So that's really cool. And then there's that. 
So, super cool. Um, big 45 guy, big 1911 guy. You know, I'm a collector. I collect guns. I collect knives. I collect, you know, old school stuff, historic stuff. I, I really, really like that. Just, you know, knowing all the history behind things and where they come from and why we do things that we do. You know, what we've learned from the past and how history tends to repeat itself. You know, but just all the collectible stuff, the old stuff, that's super cool. You know, obviously, I'm a younger guy, so I didn't grow up during this time. But, you know, I know about it. I read about it, research it, look into it, watch movies, watch documentaries. And just, you know, it's it's super nostalgic. It's super Americana. And uh, it's really cool to have. And it's not even that expensive. Uh, at my local shop, I think I paid 20 some odd dollars for this. You get the nice wooden box. You get the ammo. I mean, you can't barely get... 45 ammo for 20 bucks a box anyway and it's quality american made winchester 45 plus it's made you know with the crimp and the 1911 stamping and all that stuff it's just cool and it's very shootable you could shoot it if you want but being collectible i'm not going to you know it's it's cool maybe one day who knows maybe one day you know before i die i'll go out and i'll shoot my favorite colt and put this box through it but who knows, you know, and if you do, you got a nice cool box to throw other little trinkets and stuff in there. You know, maybe you got a real box of uh, old 45s or something, or you want to put your cigars or, or whatever. But I thought that was really cool. I'm looking forward to the other calibers. Um, heads up, I if you're on my Instagram, which if you're not, go follow me at Terribly Tactical um, on Instagram. You would have noticed that I've picked up an M1 Garand. Garand, I know, but this is America, we call it a grand, that's what it is, and uh, video coming up on that shortly, stay tuned, but I'm definitely going to get some 30-06 for that, and then uh, I got to pick up um, an M1 carbine, probably one from Inland, maybe auto ordinance, who knows, the auto ordinance is a little cheaper, and uh, that's the other thing I forgot too for the Ithaca, uh, the trench gun, I think they're doing 12 gauge like this too. So that's going to be awesome. Each box is going to be different. It's going to have little facts on it and stuff. And uh, the ammo is supposed to be made just like it was back then. So that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. I thought that was really cool. Um, if I could find, well, I guess I can't do that because of YouTube's policy. I was going to say, I was going to try and find, I'll link to Winchester. Nah, I can't even do that, can I? God, YouTube sucks. Anyway, ask your local store. To order this stuff if they don't have it on the shelf already. Go look up on Winchester's website themselves. I don't think I can drop a link. I'll get my channel banned for some stupid stuff. But check it out. Try and get the release dates. If you're interested in stuff like this, try and get it down. Know when it's coming out. Put an order in at your local shop. Try and support the little guys. Forget Bass Pro and all the big box stores. They're going to stay in business. Shop with your mom and pop gun shops. And uh, if you're into it, pick some up before you can't. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.